Yeah, about two thirds of the way. Players in this year. Calendar, yes, about 30 odd. Hello, Sam, I can hear you, let me click. Can you hear me, okay? Very sure. Please stand here. Not the press, not the pitch. Are we straight out of this break? Is there a break on there? They're on a break and straight to us. Yeah, he said three minutes. Good afternoon, it's going to be a big mileage claim, isn't it? <laughs> Wigan Athletic is the latest destination and we should remind you we've got a special guest to talk to but first of all just check this out I mean a really long history here at Wigan 1932 the the old black and white picture days and then on this side of the uh, DW corridor a reminder of the great times the 1990s the Premier League days the FA Cup final of course and if I'm not mistaken that's Mr Gary Caldwell now of course uh, very much in command here at Wigan Let's take you down this corridor here because times are changing at Wigan. Um, we've had a busy summer. Uh, we needed to have a busy summer because last season wasn't good enough. So we've, uh, we've brought in so far 12 players. And we've had a lot of players out, I think 15 in total. So it needed to happen and we can't wait to get going come Saturday. I hear a whisper that the wage bill has been dr slashed drastically. How big a, how big a cut? Yeah, uh, no, it needed, it needed to be cut. Um, I'm not going to go into details in terms of the finances, but but it needed cutting and there's a big difference compared to Championship and League One. So it's something we have to do as a football club and it's still it's still a good budget for this league but it's, it's one where I expect us to be at the right end of the table, right end of the, table rather than the bottom end. There'll be a determination no doubt to try and bounce back but that's not going to be easy is it? No, it's, it's a tough league. Every, every, every team will come here with something to prove. It, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big club in the league and as Sheffield United are, there's other clubs back in City. So it's, it's a big club and there's teams will be coming here to to prove a point, so we've got to be ready for that and it's going to be a challenge. Let's have a quick walk here, we can walk onto the pitch a little bit, the hallowed turf where uh, your team are going to be walking out. Coventry away of course, first day, but soon back in action here. And I mean, again, the looks of this, it's going to be a big change in climate isn't it? I mean, no Premier League, no Championship, it's League One. Yeah, and it, 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 there's a good standard of football played in League One. I think yeah, a lot of teams try and play the right way because they can, they can make certain mistakes and learn from those mistakes. and and play the right way on the deck, as you saw with Bristol City last season and then played on. So I think good football is the way teams want to go, we want to go, want, want to go the same way. That's why we put a new pitch down for the right way for Gary wants to play. It's, it's the best I've seen it, to be honest with you. We've already had a couple of rugby games on it and you wouldn't know. I know you've tried to rejig totally the player recruitment side of things. I mean, again, how easy is it to, to pick the right sort of player at this level for you? Yeah, I mean a lot of a lot of players who we've who we've taken have turned down championship clubs to come here because they believe in what myself and Gary are doing and, and the club are doing. So it's, that's a very positive thing for us. So we're, we're trying to build a team that's capable of fighting at the right end of the table in, in this League One, but also one, ones who we believe can take us even higher in the future. And I know you had a, a friendly match here last week, and, and your grandfather Dave Whelan was here a couple of years ago. He was he was here to greet Jim White with the helicopter. Um, how is he? He's well. Um, yeah, he came to the friendly with me on Saturday. He was didn't have a single clue who any player was so I was giving him advice rather than him me giving me advice so so it was it was, it was good for him to, to, to show him all the work we've been doing over the summer and, and he's impressed but the real action starts Saturday so we look forward to it. It certainly does, thank you very much for your time, thank you for your time on the pitch and in the corridor, give our regards to Mr Whelan won't you? And so there we go, Wigan all set, it's going to be a really big big challenge for them but uh, as uh, David Sharp says they've had a lot of fine tuning off the pitch during the summer, we'll soon find out if it's working. Thank you, cheers. Cheers, David. Good luck. All right. Yeah, good. Well done. everything in there. Plenty of movement for the history. Nice to walk from one place to the other as well. Yeah, cheers, Ralph. Yeah, you're right. Again, I know we're going to talk about it there. It's just sat there talking about it. Look at that. That's gone. We've got player recruitment too. We've got, we've got all the issues in there. And we've got. Uh, all sorts of was nice, yeah. Yeah, that's been great. Just a boardroom, I think, yeah. improvement. Yeah. I think that was better as well for me to walk and talk for, for like 20 seconds to set it up and then find you and then walk okay. Otherwise, you're just dragging along with me while I'm talking, which looks a bit bad. So, good for that. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate sir. that. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Thank so you. much. Thanks, Ed. Thank you. Ah, see you later. See you later.